Hey guys, this is Rachel from Cypress Textiles and today I'm going to be making the Glisse motif from the 2022 VV Cowl. I'm going to start with a slip knot and put it on the hook there and then I'm going to do chain three and slip stitch in the third chain from the hook to close the ring. And then I'm going to go straight into the ring with a single crochet and then chain 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And single crochet in the ring again. And just be careful, you don't twist your chain or anything. Just go straight into the center. And that is gonna be your repeat. So we're gonna do something a little bit different on the very last um, chain 10 loop. But here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to get started and you're going to do chain 10 and single crochet in the ring until you have 11 chain 10 spaces on your hook. So I will show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, I decided to come back in in the middle of my round. Um, just to show you guys kind of how it's looking with nine loops on the hook, oh, nine loops on the hook, nine um, chain 10 loops. So basically, you're going to have 12 single crochet all together in this ring. And we make 12 double crochet into the ring all the time. But I feel like it's just, it feels harder somehow to get all these loops in, but you will do it. So just take, I have three more to go. Well, I have two more until I have 11 and then I wanna show you the very last one, but you just have to kind of like really shove these stitches to the side and fit your single crochet in there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, just get in there. Oh, I pulled through the tail. Okay, there we go. All right, so I have one more that I will do really quick. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so you have space in there, trust me. Okay, so now I have 11. So I'm gonna double check by counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. All right. And uh, I went ahead and made my um, single crochet in the ring. So now I'm ready to make what will be my 12th chain 10 space, but we're not gonna make a full chain 10 space. We're gonna make chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna make a like triple treble. So I'm gonna yarn over three times wrap the yarn three times around the hook and don't get all back here because you will end up with a mess. So make sure whenever you wrap your yarn around three times that you're really close to the top of the hook. Okay. And then you're going to go into the first single crochet of the round. All right. So I'm going to go in there, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to draw the yarn through two loops on the hook four times. One, two, three, and four. All right, so that's gonna be like our 11th um, chain 10 loop, okay? So this is gonna, this looks a little crazy, but don't worry, because we're, we're gonna uh, settle all these loops down with our next round. So it doesn't look bad though. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is single crochet into the same chain 10 loop. So just go straight into the same chain 10 loop Pull up a loop for a single crochet and make your single. There you go. Now chain three and find your next loop and just make sure that your loop is not twisted. You don't want it like this. You know, you don't want it facing backwards or inside out or anything. So just make sure it looks nice how it's supposed to and single crochet into it. And that's going to kind of like anchor it. So however your loops um, are when they're anchored is how they're going to look and the final motif. So just make sure you straighten everything out. All right, chain three, single crochet in the next chain loop. 
chain three, and you're gonna repeat chain three and single crochet in the next chain loop until you have all uh, 12 single crochet and 12 chain spaces. All right, you can see it already starting to behave. Okay, I'll show you how it looks when it's done. So our next step is to slip stitch in these three chains of the chain three space and just go directly into the chains themselves and make sure that you don't make your slip stitches too tight, otherwise it will pucker. And then slip stitch into the single crochet. So you're basically traveling to the next chain space. So now chain four in each chain space around four single crochet in every chain space around and I will show you how it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I finished the round and I joined with the slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start the third to last round now with the next stitch being a beginning double crochet um, in the next stitch and then a regular double crochet in the same stitch. So you have two DC in that next stitch, the, the stitch after the join. All right, now we're gonna make two double crochet in a row. Okay, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now two double crochet in a row. And two double crochet in the next stitch. and two double crochet in a row. Okay, so, so far you have two DC in the same stitch, and then one DC, one DC, two DC in the same stitch, one DC, one DC, and then again. So now we're gonna make three double crochet in a row. Okay. And that is your repeat, and you're gonna do that repeat four more, three more times around, and you're gonna have a total of 60 double crochet. So I'm gonna show you this, and this is gonna be your repeat, if you wanna screenshot it so you can look at it, and then um, make sure you count afterwards that you have 60 double crochet. Okay, so we're gonna work the next round from the wrong side of the piece. So just turn it over and you're gonna work into the same stitch that you joined into with a single crochet and then a treble crochet and then a single crochet. So these trebles are going to poke out on the right side of the work as tiny bobbles because they're squashed down in between single crochets. So just make single, treble, single, in the same stitch as the join and then when you turn it over you can see that you have the, the little treble bobble there. All right so now you're going to work treble single treble single treble single until you have five trebles and I'll show you what that looks like. So you're just working treble and then single across and then you're gonna tilt your work forward and make sure that you have five treble crochet. Okay, one more treble. All right, so now make your next single and then you can see that I have my single treble single and then I have treble, single, treble, single, and so forth until I have these five in a row here. And now you're gonna make your corner. So you've already got the single for your corner. So just make treble crochet in the same stitch and another single crochet in the same stitch. All right, and that's gonna be your repeat. So you're gonna work that same treble, single, treble, single until you have uh, five trebles in a row. And you're just gonna repeat your next corner single, treble, single in the same stitch, all the way around until you have six of these corners, these single, treble, single corners. Okay, so this is how the round looks when it's finished. And of course, this is the wrong side. 
So when you turn it back to the right side, you see all the bobbles. And we're going to make the final round now. So the first thing we're gonna do is make three single crochet into the treble, the corner treble. So three singles in that corner treble and then just make single crochet across until you get to the next corner treble crochet. And that's it, that's your repeat, just single crochet and all the stitches across and then when, once you get to the corner treble, make three singles in it. And when you finish, make sure you count all your singles and make sure you have 84. All right, so that is how the side looks. And this is how it looks when it's finished. So you can see that once you put the very last round on, um, it really turns into a nice hexagon. And this has been the Glees motif from the 2022 VD Cal, and I will see you on the next one.